Peppa! George! Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> Is this my birthday card? Yes! We made it ourselves! It's lovely! But it's sad it's not a real birthday party. I think I'm a bit too old for a real party, Peppa. I think Grandpa would rather have a nice, quiet meal. With party hats! <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's not a hat, it's a napkin. The napkins are to stop food and drink getting on your best clothes. <clears throat> would you like to order drinks, madame? Could we have a bottle of water, please? Of course. Can I get you anything else? Party hats, please. Party hats? Yes, because it is my grandpa's birthday. A grandpa pig's birthday. I'll see what I can do. Peppa, they don't have party hats in posh restaurants like this. Et voilà, party hats. <laughs> oh, party hats. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. Are you ready to order food? Yes, yes please. please. On the menu today, we have dried fish with seaweed cheese, strained carrot on a mussel cuff, or cream of sweet in a vegetable soak. Um, I think I might try the, uh, strained carrot on a mussel cough. Uh, cream of sweet for me, please. Perhaps the dried fish? Uh, same again, please. And for the children? Spaghetti, please! Spaghetti! Pepper and George <laughs> love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti is not on the menu, but I will ask the chef. Pepper, you can't ask for things that aren't on the menu. Strained carrot, cream of sweet, dried fish, and for the children, the chef has made spaghetti. Hooray! Spaghetti! Bon appetit! <laughs> mm. Actually, it's my birthday. Could I have the spaghetti too, please? And me. And me. And me. And, and, me. Me. and me. Everybody loves spaghetti. Would you like some cheese on your spaghetti? Cheese! And balloons, please. Balloons? Of course. Mm. Marvellous. Lovely. Balloons! Hooray! <laughs> this is starting to feel like a birthday party. The only thing missing is the cake. Oh! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Grandpa Big! Blow out the candles, Grandpa! <gasps> Hooray! Birthday party music, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is such fun. Then you howl. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Wendy Wolf has taught everyone how to howl like a wolf. Ow! Ow! did that one? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't any of us. Oh. It's a wild animal! Ah. Oh. It is Granny Wolf. Happy birthday, Wendy. Hello, Granny. You must all be Wendy's friends. How do you do? Hello, Hello Granny Wolf. Wolf. My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf. <laughs> All the better to hear you with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. All the better to eat birthday cake. <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> Wendy, what's that in the middle of your cake? It is a little house made of sticks. Ah! Time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> You've blown the stick house down. Oh, well done. That's my goal. It was quite easy. <laughs> Houses made of sticks are easy to blow down. I always forget. What's your house made of, Mr Pig? 
It's made of bricks. Not straw? Bricks. Oh, of course. <laughs> that was a great party, Wendy. Yes, that was my best party ever. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Happy birthday, Wendy! <laughs> <laughs>
I wonder what Daddy Pig's birthday surprise can be. <laughs> Daddy's home! Quick, back to the house. Daddy Pig is home from work. Happy birthday, Daddy Pig! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Wow, what a lot of candles. That's because you are very, very old, Daddy. <laughs> You must blow out all your candles in one go. <laughs> I'll do my best. <gasps> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> and here's your birthday present. Thank you. New boots. Fantastic. Let's try them out. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are wearing their boots. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his birthday boots. Daddy Pig has found a little puddle. Let's see if these boots work. The puddle is a bit too little for Daddy Pig. Hmm. What I need is a big puddle. <laughs> Why not try over here, Daddy Pig? Ooh, what's this? It's your special birthday surprise. <laughs> shh, shh. <laughs> what are they up to? A big muddy puddle. Fantastic! <laughs> My birthday boots work perfectly. Would you care to join me in my birthday muddy puddle? <laughs> Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. My friends are here! <laughs> Yippee! Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Peppa. Peppa. Come on, children. The party is starting. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to do a magic show. Peppa, remember what you have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the amazing Mysterio. OK, Daddy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's Magic Daddy. Hooray! <laughs> For my first trick, Abracadabra! <gasps> wow! It's Teddy! For my next trick, I need a helper from the audience. Me! 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 me. <laughs> I just need one. <sniffs> Young lady, you put your hand up first. Can you tell the audience your name? <laughs> Susie Sheep. OK, Susie. Here are three balls. A red one, a blue one and a yellow one. OK. You have to secretly choose one while my back is turned. OK. Have you chosen one? Yes. Abracadabra! You chose yellow. No. Uh, abracadabra! Blue. No. Abracadabra! Red. Yes! It is red. Hooray! Silly magic, Daddy. You said all three colours. Shush, Peppa. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you like one more trick? Yes, please. Ooh. Close your eyes. No looking. I've forgotten what hard work birthdays were. <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper, and George are decorating the sitting room. <laughs> this is fun! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have arrived for Mummy Pig's birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig! Aren't you coming inside? Oh, I can't come in yet. Daddy Pig, Pepper and George are doing secret things for my birthday. How lovely. <coughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> Mummy, would you like to come inside now? I'd love to. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, Mummy. <laughs> Whoa. 
One, two, three, open your eyes! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Mummy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely surprise! Blow the candles out and make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Oh. You're beautiful, Mummy. <coughs> now you just need somewhere nice to wear it. What's this? Two tickets to the theatre tonight. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> Mummy Pig loves going to the theatre. And Granny Pig and I are going to babysit the little ones. Hooray! <laughs> what a super birthday. I'm the luckiest mummy in the whole world. And the most beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> George is trying really hard, but he is running out of breath. Achoo! <laughs> George, you didn't blow hard enough. I know a way George can make bubbles. Dip the stick in the mixture, then lift it up and wave it around. <laughs> Bubble! <laughs> <laughs> It's even better if you run along. <laughs> George is having fun making bubbles. And Pepper is having fun popping them. I love bubbles. <laughs> oh dear, the bubble mixture is all used up. Don't worry, Pepper. I have an idea. <laughs> Mummy Pig, bring me a bucket, please. Yes, Daddy Pig. Pepper, bring me some soap. Yes, Daddy Pig. George, bring me my old tennis racket. <laughs> a bucket, some soap, a tennis racket. What is Daddy Pig doing? First, I need some water. Then the soup. <laughs> and now, the tennis racket, please. <laughs> Thank you. Now watch this. <gasps> Ooh, wow! <laughs> Daddy Pig has made his own bubble mixture. Come on, everyone! <laughs> be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't slip and fall. I'll be fine. Whoa. <laughs> I can do tigers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a tiger, please. There you are, Pepper. Now you're a tiger. <laughs> I'm a tiger. <laughs> George, what would you like to be? Dinosaur. Grr. A dinosaur? Uh, how about a tiger instead? I'm good at tigers. <laughs> I'm a tiger. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Meow. Tigers don't say woof woof. How do you know? Because tigers are big cats. Meow. And I'm a cat. Cat D, please can you teach us how to be tigers? OK. Tigers creep very, very slowly, and then they jump. <laughs> <laughs> Tigers like to lick themselves clean. But best of all, when tigers are happy, they purr. Hello, children. My goodness, you're all tigers. And I'm teaching them to be proper tigers. <laughs> <laughs> what do you little tigers want to do next? Dinosaur! That's right. We have to find George a dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Let's get you all balloons. Hooray! <laughs> Hello, Madam Gazelle. We'd like some balloons, please. Certainly. I've got lots of different ones. Could I have an elephant balloon, please? Here you are, Pepper. 
Can I have a kangaroo? A lion, please. A monkey, please. A parrot, please. <laughs> oh, yes, I've got all those. <laughs> Most important of all, we need a dinosaur balloon for George. Oh, dear. I do not seem to have any dinosaur balloons. Oh. <laughs> I've come to collect your things for the jumble sale. Here they are. Thank you. And would you like this old chair? Oh, most generous. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mummy, you gave away Daddy's chair. Shh, don't tell him. He'll never notice. <laughs> it is the day of the jumble sale. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Peppa, how about this chair? It's a bit rubbish, but you can chop it up and use it for firewood. But it's an antique. Is it? Daddy said it's worth lots of money. Well, I never. I'd better put the price up. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. What did you give, Susie? I gave my nurse's outfit. I gave my parrot balloon. I gave my toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will miss my jack-in-a-box. Can I buy this jack-in-a-box, please? And I'd like this nurse's outfit. The parrot balloon, please. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, look what we've bought. All your old toys. We missed them. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I've bought. It's an antique chair. Oh, Daddy Pig, that's not an antique chair. It is. Miss Rabbit just said so. And it matches my old one. Yes, Daddy. That's because... Shh, Peppa. It is your old chair. What? But Miss Rabbit has just charged me lots of money for it. Fantastic news, everybody. We have just raised all the money we need for a new school roof. Hooray! Thank you, Daddy Pig. Ho, ho. You're most welcome. Shall we go higher? Yes, please. Higher, higher. The balloon is rising high into the sky. Oh! Where did the sky go? Don't worry, Peppa. We're just flying through a cloud. Ooh. Wow, the sky is back again. Hooray! <laughs> big balloon, big balloon. Bigger than the sun and moon. Flying high in the sky. Fly and fly and fly and fly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Teddy, we're flying really high. Peppa, be careful you don't drop. Teddy! I've dropped Teddy! <gasps> Don't worry, Pepper. We'll rescue Teddy. Hold tight, everybody. We're going down. Miss Rabbit is making the balloon go down so that Teddy can be rescued. I can't see Teddy anywhere. There he is. Teddy's caught in a tree. I can use this anchor to rescue Teddy. Slowly. Slowly. There. Daddy Pig has rescued Teddy. Teddy! Hooray! <laughs> oh dear, no one is looking where they are going. Look out! Tree straight ahead! Hold tight! Oh. First Teddy was stuck in a tree, and now we are stuck in a tree. Daddy Pig, do you know where we are? Oh. Uh... We are lost, aren't we? Yes. Oh. Ooh. Look, everyone! That's Granny and Grandpa's house. Yes, we must be in Grandpa Pig's garden. As I thought. Ahoy there! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. Goodness me! Ahoy there, Miss Rabbit! It is night time. Peppa and her friends are sitting around the campfire. Children? Let's all sing a song. Yes! yes! The Bing Bong song, please. Oh, I'm not sure. Please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the, the Bing, Bing Bong, Bong song. song. All right. Ooh, 
We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bingly, bongly, boo. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bingly, bongly, boo. <laughs> oh, now, children, time for bed. <laughs> Good night, children. Good night, Mademoiselle. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are in their sleeping bags. <laughs> I've got a torch. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Attention, children. No more giggling, please. <laughs> what was that funny noise? I don't know. There it is again. <coughs> Susie, where are you going? Madam Gazelle. <coughs> I'm a bit scared. Oh, would you like to come in? Yes, please. <coughs> Madam Gazelle. <coughs> I think I'm a bit scared too. Can I come in, please? Of course. <coughs> I think I might be scared later. I might be scared later too. And me! Come in, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the bing bong song, please? All right. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song. Oh dear, Peppa and Susie are right at the back. Come on, Come on, Peppa! Come on Danny! Rebecca Rabbit wins. <laughs> and Pepper and Susie are last. The winner of the race is Rebecca Rabbit. Hooray! Great, thank you. <laughs> I would have won if you hadn't been talking to me, Susie. Now, now, Pepper. Remember, it's not winning that matters, but taking part. Yes, Daddy. The next event is the long jump. <laughs> George and Richard have to see who can jump the furthest. George, run as fast as you can, then jump as far as you can. George, ready, steady, go! <laughs> George has jumped as far as he can. And now it's Richard Rabbit's turn. If Richard doesn't run, he won't jump very far. Richard Rabbit. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Richard Rabbit has jumped further than George. And the winner is Richard Rabbit. Hooray! <laughs> George, remember, it's not the winning that matters, but taking part. <laughs> the next race is the relay. Each child needs to pick a parent to race with. Peppa, pick me! Pick me! But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy. But you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race. It is Talent Day. My talents are skipping, singing and dancing. I practised them all last night. I was practising watching television last night. That's not a talent. Madame Gazelle said so. What can I do then? Who would like to show us their talent first? <coughs> Danny Dog? I can bang a drum. I can bang it louder. No, that was lovely, Danny. Hey. Pedro Pony, what is your talent? Magic tricks. <clears throat> Here is a glass of water. It is wet and see-through. Ah. Now I will make the water disappear. Ooh. Please close your eyes. Open your eyes.
eyes. <gasps> the water has gone. Thank you. <coughs> Emily Elephant. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> And what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. It only works if I go up on my tiptoes. That was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping. But I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can still do dancing. Hey, wow, that's a big potato. I declare the sports centre open. Fantastic. We must all exercise and eat fruit and vegetables. Which one should we eat, Mr. Potato? Apples, oranges, carrots, tomatoes. Potatoes? Um. Why aren't you small, like a normal potato? Uh. Because he's not a normal potato. He's got legs. Normal potatoes don't have legs. He's a super potato. <laughs> We watch your show every morning. Very good. And remember to send me your drawings. We will. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will do drawings for Mr. Potato. Hooray! I'm drawing a pineapple. I'm drawing a carrot. Very good. What are you drawing, Emily? A pea. Lovely. And Pedro? It's a super potato. Oh, I see. And George has drawn a wonderful tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, what vegetable have you drawn? My daddy watching television. Oh, excellent. Now, we put the drawings in an envelope and post them to Mr. Potato. It is morning and time for the Mr. Potato Show. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! We posted some drawings to Mr. Potato in an envelope. Did you get the envelope? He can't hear you, Daddy. He's on television. Oh, yes, of course. I've received an envelope full of drawings. This tomato looks very juicy. That's George's picture. Hey! That's amazing. Here's your giant teddy. Wouldn't you like a little teddy instead, Pepper? No way, Jose. <laughs> Look, Mummy, a giant teddy. It's a bit big. No, it's not. George and Daddy Pig are queuing for the Helter Skelter. Hmm, it's a bit high, George. Are you sure you want to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. <laughs> oh dear, it is a bit too high for George. Don't worry, George. I'll come up with you. That's one pound, please. Oh. <laughs> George isn't afraid of heights anymore. Oh, it is a bit high, isn't it? I'll just go down the stairs. The stairs are full of children. That's the way down, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Whoa! <laughs> roll up, roll up, hit the target and win a giant teddy. You can do that easy, Mummy. We don't want to win another giant teddy, Pepper. Don't worry, you won't win. Women are useless at this. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's a game of skill. How much for one go? One pound. 
Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. He is your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots to be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto. I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady. Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. Hello, everyone! Hello, Peppa! All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside, too. Next stop, the seaside! Hooray! Mr Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Hello, Mr Bull. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night, but the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr Bull. Bye! Beach. We're all going on a seaside holiday. Sand and swimming and sunny skies. We're all going on a seaside holiday. Sea and sand and ice cream too. <laughs> Here we are, the seaside. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. Oh. That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Everybody can bang, 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 but to make music, you have to listen to each other and keep in time. Madam Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. 
Or the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now, we will learn how to play our instruments together. Meow. The parents have come to pick up the children. Ah, you're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra. Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. And I've got a magic wand. I've got a magic wand too. I can turn you into a frog. And I'll turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> oh dear, George is scared of his own reflection. Oh, silly George. <laughs> Look, it's you in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Children, it's time to decide who has the best fancy dress costume. We need a judge. Me, me! <laughs> As it's Peppa's party, maybe she should be the judge. I'm the judge, I'm the judge. Daddy, what is a judge? The judge decides who has the best costume. Oh, goody! Pepper is going to choose who has the best costume. Susie, can I see your costume, please? <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. I make people better. Very good, Nurse Susie. <laughs> now, Danny. I'm a pirate. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> now, Candy. Meow. <laughs> I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Well, I'm a fairy princess and I can turn you into a frog. Children, children. Sorry, Mummy. Who's next? I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. And Rebecca? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and my little brother George is a scary dinosaur. Grrr. Everyone's costume is very good. Hooray! <laughs> Now you say who the winner is. Oh, yes. <clears throat> and the winner is... me. Oh. <gasps> Pepper, you can't pick yourself. You're the judge. Oh, can't I? You have to pick another winner. OK. The carrot wins. Hooray! Hooray! You'll each need a hat. Detectives always wear hats. <laughs> Now you look like two proper detectives. And we need one of those funny things that makes everything look big. A magnifying glass. I think we've got one in the kitchen drawer. Here we are. A real magnifying glass. Wow! How does it work? You hold it in front of things and they look bigger. The magnifying glass makes the little fish look big. Can I have a go? Wow! The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <laughs> like finding things that are lost. I know, we can find George's toy dinosaur. <laughs> That's 
always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is not lost. Oh. <laughs> what about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, <laughs> not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any missed stories. <laughs> Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. Can we play upstairs now? Yes, let's play dressing up. I was asking Leo. Oh. Rah! Leo says he likes playing dressing up. Good. Come on, Leo. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are playing dressing up. Peppa is going to be a fairy. I grant you one wish. My wish is to be Queen Susie. And Leo Lion will be the jester. He doesn't want to be the jester. He wants to be the king. Here is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Mummy Pig tells me you have a very special visitor. It's only Susie, Daddy. Are you sure there isn't someone else, Peppa? There is someone else. King Leo Lion. Rawr! Oh, <laughs> it's an honour to meet you, King Leo. Daddy Pig pretends he can see King Leo. May I say what a fine golden mane you have? Yes, it is very fine. And he is wearing his best red trousers. Oh, yes. And his blue jumper. Silly Pepper. Leo isn't wearing a blue jumper. He's wearing his best green shirt. Well, it is sort of a bluey green. <laughs> Pepper, Susie, your friends are here. Pepper's friends are here. They're all wearing their boots. Let's jump in muddy puddles. Yes. <laughs> Are you sure Leo should jump in puddles without his boots? Oh, I forgot. Leo's wearing his boots as well. <laughs> Look at Leo. He's jumping up and down too. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Even pretend friends. <laughs> Uh, how about this box? No, not my hats. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, we can't decide what to throw out. I know. We'll let Pepper and George decide. Okay. <laughs> Let's throw away this old case. Oh, oh not, not that, that one. one. This isn't just any old case. It's a record player. Ooh. And this was our favourite record. Can we play it? Yes. Oh, oh, we haven't heard it for years. Oh, this takes me back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pepper and George. Let's dance. <laughs> Mummy Pig is here to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Where are you? Mummy Pig can't find anyone. What's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! Hello. We've been dancing to Granny and Grandpa's favourite record. Yes. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa played it all the time. Ooh, and here's the record I used to play when I was a little piggy. What is it? It's called Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. Not Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. You were always playing that. I thought we'd thrown that out ages ago. Ah. <laughs> the bear 
Let's go woof and the dogs go tweet. Woof tweet woof tweet woof woof woof. The sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo ba woof tweet woof ba moo tweet woof woof woof. Again again. The birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig, and Pepper are having mugs of hot milk. <laughs> George, why are you dressed up in that space suit? You should be in your pajamas. <laughs> George loves everything to do with space. Oh, <laughs> George, take your space helmet off to drink your milk. <laughs> 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 Bedtime, little ones. <laughs> At night, George likes to listen to his space mobile. Not space again. <sighs> it's boring. Space isn't boring. It's full of stars. I can't see anything. It's too dark. It's easier to see the stars from outside. Can we go outside now? Pepper, you're in your pajamas. Maybe if you put your coats on over your pajamas, we could go outside just this once. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy, why are you lying on the ground? This is the best way to see the stars. <laughs> Look at these little stars. Imagine you are joining the dots. That's called the Big Dipper. Ooh. Yes. And the two stars at the end point to the North Star. Wow! North Star, North Star, are you near or are you far? Can we get there in the car? <laughs> no, Pepper. The stars are much too far away. Are they even further than the seaside? Oh, yes. But they look a lot closer through a telescope. Have we got a telescope? No, but Grandpa Pig has a very good telescope. Can we go to Grandpa Pig's house now? <laughs> Don't stay up too late. Good night, Mummy. Peppa and her friends are getting into their sleeping bags. <laughs> Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. <laughs> the sleepover is only for big girls. Oh, they're so sweet and little. Can they stay? OK, but you must promise you'll stay awake. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a piano. I'm having lessons. Listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can I have a go? And me. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Shush! You must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now, into your sleeping bags, please. What do we do now? On sleepovers, there's always a midnight feast. What's a midnight feast? We eat things in secret. Ooh! I know where there's food, but we must be very quiet. <laughs> Shh, Susie. Shh, Peppa. Quiet. Mummy Zebra has woken up. We're going to have the best midnight feast ever. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You'll wake Daddy Zebra. Now, who knows a nice, gentle bedtime story? Me. And me. I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy. Now your turn, Peppa. And she lived in the forest. She was very pretty. Bye-bye, Susie. I'll be back to... Quick, Susie! ...pick you up later. George, Richard, Nurse, Susie.
Susie is here. And now Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. It is a hospital. I'm the important doctor. Ooh, this dinosaur looks sick. I agree, Doctor. He's a very greeny ill colour. He must go to bed. And this dinosaur looks a very purpley ill colour. Yes, Doctor. He must go into bed too. Dinosaur! Shush! Quiet! In the hospital! Choo-choo! <laughs> the bedroom is not a hospital anymore. Now it is a railway station. No, no. There aren't any trains in Fairyland. Oh, now the bedroom is Fairyland. Only pretty things are allowed in Fairyland. <laughs> What's all this crying about? George and Richard want to play dinosaurs and trains. And we want to play hospitals and fairies. Mm. I see the rain has stopped outside. So? So? Maybe you could all play outside. But they like little boys' games. And we like grown-up girls' games. But after it's been raining in the garden, what do you normally find? Muddy puddles! And what are muddy puddles for? Jumping up and down! Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are big girls or little boys. And the cook, he makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The end. Then they all woke up and along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. <laughs> that bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary dragon! <laughs> Emma, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> OK. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party. And all their friends came. <laughs> right, I think I'd better sort this out. <laughs> Daddy Pig. They're almost asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take over now. You have to finish the story, Mummy. All right, quickly now. Tell me what's happened. Once upon a time, in olden days, a long time ago... Mummy Pig's been up there for a long time. I can hear snoring. At last, Pepper and George are asleep. And then they all lived happily ever after. The... Pepper is playing with her bouncy ball. George and his friend, Edmund Elephant, are playing with their space toys. George is pretending that the bouncy ball is the moon. I was playing with that ball. Oh. Edmund's space toy has landed on Pepper's head. <laughs> <laughs> this looks fun. Are you going to the moon? It's just boring space stuff for babies, Daddy. It's not real. But space is real, Pepper, And there are real rockets that go to the moon. The museum has a show all about the moon. <laughs> Shall we go and see it? Yay! Yay! Will we really have 
have to go to the moon. No, Peppa, we're not going to the moon. We're going to the museum. OK. Here is the museum. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? <laughs> yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. There you are. Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa. It's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Peppa. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. 